Hey everyone, it is the Honey Badger here, and I don't know if it's just me, but there's usually two instances when it comes to what I look for when I'm buying perifs for my PC. The first one is quality. Now, if something is really high quality and it's great materials and just it works incredibly well or is very smart and does something unique, I'll usually pay a little bit more for that. But I also do like things that are very affordable and smart. And that is a really good value option for a lot of people who don't want to pay too much or maybe are just getting into PC gaming and don't actually have perifs currently. Maybe you don't have a mouse and keyboard and you have a new build and maybe you need all those things. Well, today we're going to take a look at the sports bot um, package of headset, keyboard, and mouse and see if it is a good deal because at $35 up front, that's a very affordable price for getting all three of those things. So first, let's just do like a little mini unboxing and see what all is included, you know, quality wise, looks wise, and everything off the bat. So we have the sports bot box. Everything comes in just one box as is. On the outside, it talks about LED backlighting, 40 millimeter driver unit, a Windows key lock, USB connection, and four levels of DPI resolution for the mouse. So you do have some options, including some, you know, LED backlighting. So, you know, we have a couple features right there. So then we're not completely bare bones. So if we just flip it open, first thing we'll pull out, let's pull out the mouse first, which is in plastic. The mouse itself, it looks good. Just off the front, um, you know, just looking at it. Uh, we don't have a braided cable or anything. This is just your standard, you know, kind of rubberized plastic. So you have that first. Um, the sticker is actually peeling off the mouse a little bit on the bottom. Shouldn't be a huge deal. Why don't I just peel that off or it won't be too much of a problem. And then it does have like that, that like rubberized plastic, which I do like. That's a nice feel in the hand. So it doesn't feel overly, you know, like hard plastic. So it does feel soft. Feels okay in the hand. The buttons definitely click. They have a, a kind of a cheaper feel, but they click nice. They have do good, do good. They have do good clicks to them. They do click well. So that's the first thing. Overall, it looks okay. It looks like the bottom's going to light up with RGB. So that's definitely something nice. We'll just set that down for a second. The next thing we'll pull out is the headset, which is on top as well. Um, the headset, let's just take a look. Base HD gaming headset. We do have some cheaper looking plastic on the side for sure. Not my favorite look. Um, we do have a micro microphone though that does fold out of the way. Nothing really on it to help protect though if you're breathing into it, but it shouldn't really be in front of your nose because it's not the longest. So that's, I guess, a good thing. We'll see how the microphone quality is. And we'll talk about the headset quality too once we're done reviewing. Uh, we do actually have a braided cable on this one. So that is a nice thing to see. Blue and black, um, blue and black overall too. Everything's kind of a blue and black aesthetic. We do have also options for our audio with USB and then obviously a headphone and a microphone as well, which is good to see because not every device that you will be plugging into this will probably have that. So if you're using this on a laptop, some laptops only have USB. Some laptops do have the option of headphone microphones. Some just only have headphone microphone combo jack. So it's good to see that there is an option there. So that's one thing. Um, we do have some okay padding on the sides and some padding at the top. Nothing outrageous or major. And we do have some adjustability. But yeah, once again, the plastic quality, little bit lower but once again this is something that's not at a crazy price we need to see how they'll perform to really you know gauge exactly how good they are we'll set those down too pull out the plastic throw that on the ground we have a little bit of a booklet as well inside the box talking about what they do oh yep and the adjustability and how to how to lock and how to use everything so that's good that you do have a little bit of information that does kind of state the obvious so or the unobvious things we don't need more things we don't need. And then at the bottom, it looks like we have the keyboard, which is actually packed okay inside some softer foam, which is always good to see. Um, ooh, that's interesting. We'll have to zoom in on that. Once again, no braided cable, which is okay. It's gonna happen, no braided cable. USB based, which is pretty standard at this point. We do have the back of it, which is plastic, has these cutouts in it. We do have flip up feet on it, which is good to see as well, if you want to have that. Um, I can bend the keyboard a little bit, not a huge deal. Like I said, I'm not looking for something that's crazy quality, but needs to be okay. We're not mechanical as well on the switches, which is okay. You know, membrane or whatever, we'll, it'll work for now. Um, it does have a very unique effect on it. Or is that, or is it oil? Okay, it's oil. So there's oil on it. So I don't know if that's for the buttons, but there is an oily residue over the buttons. I thought it was like an effect because there's like a kind of a scratch effect happening all along the bottom and there's like oil on the keys. I thought it was actually part of the aesthetic. So we'll see if that oil is, you know, it looks like it wipes off really easy. It might just be the, the lubricant for the buttons themselves underneath and it may just 
kind of seeps around all of it. So maybe they just make sure it's nice and lubricated. I don't know, that seems a little weird. But we do have some buttons up at the top and two and it feels okay. We'll see how it performs. Um, but yeah, it does feel, you know, like that cheaper plastic, definitely not as durable. Definitely not as durable, but we'll see. We'll see how it performs. That's the real kicker. So like I said, I'll forgive some of these, you know, little things just off the bat if it performs well at the price because just for instance, the $35 all of this costs is very affordable if you're trying to build an affordable PC and you don't have a ton to dish out on hardware. My mouse alone that I currently use costs twice as much as all of these things combined. Now, is it twice as good as the mouse included? Maybe, maybe not. Um, is the RGB that my mouse has, you know, what makes that the difference in the price? Mm, maybe, maybe not, but we need to see how all of these will perform. So, we'll run some tests, I'll do some VO, and we'll have some pretty shots of the product and we'll see how it all worked out. So my testing has concluded and it's now time to dive in a little bit deeper and tell you what I think about each of the items that is included in the SportsBot pack. So first things first, let's start things off with the mouse. So the mouse itself overall, I will say as much as it's a cheaper mouse because this whole package is just cheap for getting three things in it, is actually decent. Um, obviously not my favorite thing in the world and won't replace my mouse, but it is good enough that it works as a usable mouse. It has um, 5 plus 1 buttons and you have a scroll wheel. The DPI on it is pretty nice. You do have multiple settings. Um, there are four levels of DPI settings, anywhere from 800 to 2000. So 2000 doesn't get too high, but honestly, I don't really think you should use DPI too much higher than that in my opinion. But other than that, it's got forward and backward buttons. And overall, it like I said, it feels okay to use and it worked perfectly fine. So it does get a pass from me. The next item we're gonna talk about is the keyboard. Now the keyboard did have some oil on the face of it. Um, like I said, I think it was just from the buttons, but once I wiped it off, it worked honestly perfectly well and it had pretty nice subtle blue backlighting that can be adjusted um, at three levels of brightness. So it is kind of nice to see that despite, once again, the cheaper prices for all this stuff, that we do have some backlighting for the keyboard that you can adjust on and off. So I do really like that. You have multimedia keys at the top, you have the non-slip stands on the bottom, um, feet to raise it up, and it's designed with whether you like it or dislike it, it's designed the way it is. But for the price, um, it's okay. It's I got nothing against it. Obviously, we're not mechanical with our keys, which is a little disappointing in my opinion, but it worked perfectly fine, and the keys and buttons all seem to work nice. Um, does it work? Does it get a pass from me? I'm also going to give the keyboard um, a pass um, just a little bit. I don't really like that there was oil on it, but it does work out just fine. And finally, let's talk about that headset that is included. Now the headset also does have some blue lighting on it, but the blue lighting on it looks really bad in my opinion. It's really bright in random spots and like almost projects light. So I don't think the quality for the lighting in it's very good at all. That being said, I think that the actual comfort of the headband and the ear pads is actually decent for the price. Um, I was expecting them to be very uncomfortable. I've worn a lot of uncomfortable headsets that were cheaper uh, ones, and these ones weren't very uncomfortable at all, which is a good thing. So I did like that. Um, Long-term use though, they will start to get a little bit uncomfortable, but overall, um, definitely for the lower end price, they do kind of shape up to be okay. Now, as for uh, the rest of it, you have pretty simple controls. You don't really have a mute button, so you can't really do that. You do have a little toggle wheel in the back for some volume. It works all right. The overall all sound dynamics of the headphones themselves are not the best but honestly that was to be expected I always felt like the left side was just a little bit louder than the right side I don't know if that's you know accurate or if I was just hearing it that way but it just seemed a little bit off everything's also just got a little bit more of a muffle to it too so not the highest quality speakers inside of it um, but you know that's gonna be expected once again in a whole package deal that comes in at $35 as for the quality of the microphone on the headset, well, it's very mediocre at best. It sounds like it's not getting very good like access to the mic itself, so it just sounds really muffly and kind of far away, so not the greatest microphone. So there you have it. Overall, this package deal for all three of these is pretty good. I mean, it's not the nicest stuff ever, and in fact, you might get it and think that some of it's fairly cheap, and it, it, it is cheap. I'm telling you that it is cheap, but for $35, there's no way you could possibly get 
too much more quality wise if you were to go buy a bunch of stuff individually so um, you probably could find some other mice for the $10 range um, that are okay honestly you could do that a keyboard's gonna be a little bit harder to find one in the 10 to $15 range it's probably gonna be very similar to the one in this packaging and as for headphones um, a good set of headphones usually you can find some decent ones at $30 but these ones once again they're included so if we take the uh, you know kind of average of what all these might cost about 11 to $12 each um, they're not too bad for their price so overall I think everything fits its price pretty well especially for the overall deal and if you don't have a lot to spend and you need a mouse and a keyboard and a headset honestly it's a decent deal if you really are scrapped for cash and you can't really pull anything else together so um, it does kind of get a recommendation from me once again not the highest quality gear but it does get the job done I want to thank all of you for watching today's video. If you could leave a like, that would be appreciated. And subscribe if you enjoyed the content as well. Other than that, I'll hopefully see all of you coming up in future videos.